All right. It's a beautiful day today. Lovely stream in the background. Today what we got in store is we're going to be opening up and checking out this Magic the Gathering Zendikar Rising 15 card draft booster pack. They started putting draft booster pack on it. It just used to be booster pack. Got this uh, lady on the front of it. I forgot her name, but she's got our cool glowing sword. Be pretty hot to hold, I bet. And uh, this came out in uh, last year, 2020 sometime. The Wizards of the Coast, the little lion face down there. And yeah, this is a Zendikar Rising. I believe this is the third time that they've been to Zendikar again. You had like World Wake and Zendikar in like the first block. And inside of those, there was like, I believe, priceless treasures where like the original printing, there was a chance you could actually get like an actual Black Lotus or like Alpha Dual Land or something crazy like that. They'd actually inserted them in some of the old booster packs of like the original Zendikar. Um, yeah, but I'm sure all of those are probably gone or if not super expensive and the chance of actually getting something is very little But uh, supposedly that was there and then the battle for Zendikar They had like the expeditions the full foil like the crazy when they were super rare when they first came out There's really nothing like that in the magic uh, universe and that was like the first time that so I'm assuming for this one There's probably gonna be something similar where there's like some sort of really rare card or card set that you can get Maybe some full foil stuff. I don't know but that's just kind of what I'm guessing. But anyways, let's open this up and have some fun with it. Zendikar Rising, beautiful stream in the background. Kind of just crouched down, trying not to get snow everywhere. And I'm just gonna be holding these. Alrighty. Let's see, I'm just gonna sit this in my pocket for now. And uh, this is the first car we got. What is this got? Practiced Tactics. Very cool art right there by Alex uh, Konstand. Uh, looks like dimensional, like some sort of shield or something. They're definitely fighting and angry. One white's an instant speed. Choose target attacker and blocking creature. Practice tar uh, tactics deals damage to that creature equal to twice the number of creatures in your party. Uh, your party consists of up to one of each cleric's rogue warrior and wizard. Interesting, it's like party. It's almost like a Dungeons and Dragons or something like that. You can have a cleric, a rogue, a warrior, and a wizard. So if you got four of them, this will deal eight. It could deal eight possible damage. Very cool. So it definitely makes you try to make decks based on parties, this card. Interesting. I like that. I'm just going to set these behind just because there's snow everywhere. Got uh, pyroclastic uh, helion, the helions, usually larger creatures like worms or something. They should make really powerful worms again. Uh, four and a red. It's a four five creature. When it enters the battlefield, it may return a land you control to its owner's hand. When you do, it deals two damage to each opponent. So it can deal two damage to your opponents if uh, you return a land. It's a big old guy though. Hmm, <laughs> cool art though. By Simon Dominic. Yeah, Broken Wings. It's like Plummet, I guess. Uh, two and a green. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Wow, I really like that one. I haven't seen one that can destroy an artifact or enchantment and a creature with flying. So it's like, uh, I think, a straight-up better Broken Wings. Very cool. Instant speed. Uh, the poor goblin. He's getting his rings wings ripped off of him, and he's just... Uh, Fallen into the pit. I wonder if there's gonna be oh there it is You see these little obelisk floating in the background. I remember those from battle for Zendikar I'm sure we'll see more of that and I wonder if there'll be there's probably a big old Eldrazi hiding around in here Oh well, look at this if this doesn't have death touch. I don't know what does Hagra constrictor two and a black It's a creature snake. It's a zero zero Enters the battlefield with two a one one counters on it each creature control with a one one counter on it has menace So this thing has menace. It doesn't have death touch. It totally should look at that Rawr. Cool art by Simon Dominique. I believe he did another one. And um, it's a 2 2 with Menace. And each other creature control with a counter on it has Menace as well. Well, 1 1 counter. Very cool. So that can be very annoying. You got spare supplies. It looks like a backpack, kind of like what I brought out today. But uh, without that giant machete. Uh, 2 generic artifact uh, enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Yeah, 2 tap, sacrifice it, draw a card. Okay. So it's a card draw, and you can get even more card draw. I like that. By Jason Felix. Fun little art. Just uh, someone has his rope, his machete, his back, and he's just uh, probably relaxing a little bit. What do you got here? You got Gruul Draws Merc Lord. It's a giant crocodile walking on his hind legs. I don't know what he's doing. He's lost his marbles. Two and a black. So two, three. When it dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature control. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of, I like cards with value, like when it dies or when it enters the battlefield. I think it's just fun little triggered abilities that you can really play with. And this is drawn by Derek uh, Zerberoki. Very cool. You got Marissa's uh, Brute. 
Uh, two in a green. It's a 3-3 three, three troll, a warrior. Just a big old troll. Kind of grumpy look on his face right there. And his makeshift sword by Chao Monterio. Drew this one. Very cool. We got cold hands right now. Nimmin Sky Dancer. Two in a black. It's a creature human rogue. It's a 2-1. It's got flash flying. When Nimmin Sky Dancer enters a battlefield, target opponent mills two cards. It's a little bit of mill. Looks like this lady is literally diving into some sort of pit. She's got bloody daggers. Is she flying in the sky or is she just like falling or something? And she's like about to pounce on this crazy giant lizard in the background. You can see that she's about to take it down by Brian Sola. Just readjusting my leg. What do we got here? We got uh, Cunning Geyser Master. So I guess he's running around Yellowstone or something making the geysers go crazy. And he's running, he's like on a lizard. I love it. Two and a blue. It's got a kicker for two and a blue. It's a human wizard. And it's a three, two. And it enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, return up to one other creature to its owner's hand. So you can return one of yours or one of your opponents, whatever you'd like. Very cool. And he's riding that lizard by Chris Aralis. We got Skyclave, Skyclave Sentinel, three generic artifact creature gargoyle. It's a 2-3, kicker for four, flying and defender. Uh, if it was kicked, enters battlefield with two 1-1 counters on it, so it can become a 4-5. As long as it has a 1-1 counter on it, it can attack as though it didn't have defender. I've noticed with gargoyles, that's always a thing. There's always usually something you can pay or some way to make it lose defender. Like gargoyles are stones, but you can make them turn into creatures again somehow. It's kind of cool. It goes with the theme of gargoyles. At one minute they're a stone and the other minute they're attacking you. By Joseph uh, Mihan. It'd be cool to make a gargoyle deck. I've never really seen that. That's That might actually be on my list. Uh, got Umra Mystic, an uncommon one, a blue and a red. Got uh, Flying. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. And it's a one three with flying. Cards like this are very powerful because they can definitely win the game. If one of your opponent has this on the battlefield and you don't have a way to get rid of it, you could lose very quickly because there's a lot of cheap instant spells and cheap sorcery spells, and now even wizards are added to that. And uh, you can just get this thing to be, if you cast like three like uh, opt cards or something, this thing gets is a 7-3. Yeah, it's just gonna be very powerful very quickly. By Brian Sola, very cool. You got Blood Sheep's Thirst. One black, it's a sorcery. It's a kicker for two and a black. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with the converted mana cost two or less. If the spell was kicked, instead destroy target creature or planeswalker. Okay, that's cool. So it's a. You can kill small creatures, or you can kill bigger creatures if you kick it as well. By Jason uh, Rainville. Looks like almost the lady who was on the front of the pack. Oh, no, not. But she's like sucking the soul or the blood out of this person into the sword. Absolutely brutal. What do we got here? It's so cold. You got Bala Jed Recovery. An uncommon two and a green return target card from your graveyard to your hand. That's cool. It's a sorcery. And it looks like there's some sort of flip. If we can do this. Ah, uh, Bala Jed Sanctuary. Enters the battlefield tap. Ed's green. So it's like a, it's like a land sorcery. Huh. It's a double-sided card that I guess you can choose. You can either choose one or the other. You can have it in your hand. You can say, I'm going to play it as a sorcery, or I can play it as a land. I feel like with cards like this, people are going to mulligan way less. I'm going to, if you include these in your deck, uh, it stinks it enters tapped. It'd be cool if there's one that didn't. But if you had these in your deck and they didn't enter tapped, it and you had a bunch of, uh, I don't know, I could just see this be very powerful, this sort of choose ability like this. I know if I had this in my hand, it could be a land or a uh, kind of spell. It would probably make me mulligan less. Very cool. By Lucas uh, Stinek. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm, I like that. And next, it looks like the rare I got is a Legion Angel. Two and two white. It's a creature angel war with flying. It's a 4-3. When it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a card from your... Uh, you may reveal a card you own named Legion Angel from outside the game put in your hand. So I guess you're supposed to have these in your sideboard, some of them, and just kind of, they come in with pairs of themselves. Four mana for a 4-3 flying is pretty good. And when it comes in the battlefield, you pretty much uh, get a, get another one. So you can just pretty much play four of them in a row if you have four three other copies in your uh, sideboard and nothing blocking you or trying to counter them. Very cool. 
got a an island, just a full art island. I forgot they had the full art stuff. And then uh, looks like a placeholder, probably for um, the flip cards. Yeah, okay, it's for the flip card, like this. So I guess on this side, the darker triangle, you write like Bala Jed Recovery up there, and you write what it does down here. And then the other side, it's the land, and it just adds green, and it comes in tapped. That's cool, because it's a placeholder, because if you're playing this one in your hand, obviously, you have a hand, your opponent's gonna be able to see the back of it. So if you have the placeholder instead, you're not going to see the back of it. So that's what it's for if you're using an unsleeved. But yeah, very cool little pack here. Fun to open up and check out with you all. It's super cold out. My hands are freezing. I hope you're enjoying this. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And want to say thanks for stopping by. Keep on keeping on. And I'll catch you all in the next one.